Well, this really has been a year where the political flies have had an eyeful on the walls of Westminster. There is um, uh, a lot of news flow that has happened and uh, all of the twists and turns, the cliffhangers of Brexit seem to have occupied more than I think uh, EastEnders could fill in a year. <laughs> However, I think it is helpful to remember that through that Brexit remains a domestic story. It is a short-term story ultimately and it is not a story that has a global impact. So if I meet clients from around the world, actually Brexit sure is relevant but it needs to be kept in context. And, and I think that global context is what firms in the wealth management space need to keep on holding to. Markets have also been incredibly volatile, not typically the environment where you see clients added. Uh, when you can take a look at some of the numbers you've been producing uh, and the fact that it's been one of the better performances for you in the past couple of years, why are you adding clients and what's the background to that? I think one of the trends within uh, wealth management has been greatly centra uh, centralizing of, of advice and that has not been of benefit to a lot of clients. What we have seen is that clients want to be served by local expertise. They want people who are close to them, who understand the local markets that they operate in. And in the UK, two thirds of that wealth is located outside of the southeast. So for us to grow in the, in the north of England, in Scotland, in Northern uh, Ireland, is just a sign of us being close to where the wealth is and where the wealth is being created. David, if you don't mind me reminding viewers, the Durlaka name is a name steeped in um, stockbroking history, if I may say so as well, taken over by Barclays uh, in 1986 as well, in the Big Bang as well. Uh, and so you're, you're, what you were saying there resonates, but it's almost like a back to the future, isn't it? Because, I mean, the, the companies such as Barclays, such as the big international banks, centralised everything, um, everything became computer-driven, it was the same set of advice to various clients. Well, do you think, actually, this is the way forward, actually, a decentralised uh, of market activities, of broking, uh, and actually maybe even a return to picking up a phone and hearing your dealer at the other end of the phone rather than clicking a button. A lot of companies have retrenched or restructured or centralised, as you describe. But actually what people want is they want people to level with them. They don't want to be preached at. They want people who speak the same language, who understand the world through their eyes. It's very difficult for a computer or for someone at a distance, um, perhaps hundreds of miles away, to be able to do that. They want people who are local to them, who understand them. And yes, that probably is a back to the future, a return to how private banking used to be. I'm unashamed of that. Mm. Uh, but it is what our clients are looking for. And so as we go more local, we're finding we're onboarding more clients than we have uh, in any time in our 50 years in the UK. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.